morning guys um i just wanted to drop in and share something that's coming through today um really listen to your intuition right now um and follow your instincts our intuitions are turned the dial is turned way up and our intuitions are turned to high right now um like I said in a last video, I don't know if I posted it here in my Patreon, but the energy that we're in right now is a manifestation energy. Um, we are being uh, asked to get into our alignment with our truth and the things that are authentic to our code, to who we are as an individual. And we do this by listening to our instincts, by um, listening to our intuition, by following our gut, by tapping into the, the way that things feel and following the way that things feel in the lightness, in the that thing that lights you up inside, that feels expansive, that feels light. That's what you want to be following right now. You want to follow the things that make you feel good, that bring you joy, and that resonate with you. That something on a cellular level and deep inside, you almost like you can't explain it, but something shifts or triggers in you. And in that moment, you realize like, no, that feels good. That feels like my truth. That feels resonant to me. Follow those things. Listen to your instincts and your intuition right now because they're turned way on high. Um, I don't know how you guys are feeling about this, but I've stepped into a whole new energy field, a whole new way of life. Um, today, I well, the past week, I haven't been able to sleep very well pretty much since the full moon. Um, at night, I'm exhausted. I'm so tired because I've done and channeled so much during the day and have done so much work energetically um, for the collective and for myself and the things that I'm manifesting. And so I'm pretty spent by the end of the day and I'm exhausted and I try to go to sleep, but my mind is just on fire and I am literally like the synapses in my brain are supercharged and there's so much information coming through right now so many messages, so many downloads. Um, I was told that today, the 21st, something big was going to happen for me. And I woke up this morning at five. I don't think I even went to bed until one last night. I don't think I fell asleep until one. And I was just wired from the second I woke up. Um, but it's there's so much coming through right now. So on a, a collective level for everybody, we are... are DNA has been reprogrammed. Um, we should be getting a ton of downloads. And whether or not you know what this means or not right now, um, this could be complete foreign talk. But if you found this, I feel like you're probably needing to hear this. So um, what we're going through right now and what we're feeling uh, is supercharged. It is the our higher self and our soul and spirit asking us to really get into alignment with who we are. And the more alignment, the more into alignment that we get, the more synchronicities are about to happen. And I talked about this in one of my last videos. So if it's not here on YouTube, please check out my Patreon. Um, it's a subscription basis, but you get access to all the videos when you subscribe. And I'm running a special until the end of the month for the $11.11 .11, Um tier that you get a free mini reading when you sign up so that's good until the 31st i'm stoked to have that going um but a lot of my content will be there so if it's not here it'll be there and it's really inexpensive to tap in and get more of the messages so um with that being said going back to what i was saying before um if you uh because our dna is being encoded and downloaded and if you're feeling this like internal tug and your dreams are really vivid or you are getting this powerful surge of energy just take note of that take note of what's happening in your dreams take note of what's coming through for you 
journaling is really, really great right now um, just to keep track of everything that's coming out. I'm starting to download a book. I'm not even an author. I love to write, but I've never seen myself as an author. So I'm being asked to write a book and that is has already started coming through. So when your imagination and your brain and your body and the things that are happening within you, you can't explain, but everything's turned on high, really pay attention to that. So this is the energy that we're that we're in right now. Like I said, it's a manifestation energy. There's a lot being asked of us. And the more that we get into alignment with the things that resonate with us, the more that we are in that, um, that resonant zone, the more synchronicities, one, that are going to happen, the more messages that you're going to receive, two. Third, the more things are going to start to line up for you. And as those things line up and as you start, like you're going to start receiving them, you start receiving them, start receiving them. So get into that resonance, get into the feeling. If it doesn't feel right, let it go and just move on. If you feel like you're pushing with something, let it go, move on. If it's meant to be, it'll come back around at its own time. Um, but don't try to force anything right now. Really pay attention to your intuition and the things, the messages that you're receiving. Um, I did a post the other day on my Instagram, uh, which is instagram.com slash Priscilla Bernstein if you want to follow me there. But um, I did a post the other day on animal spirits. So pay attention to what animal spirits are showing up in your consciousness. Pay attention to angel numbers that are coming through. If you're seeing 1111 a lot or 222 or 111 or 333 or 888, you know, like whatever you're seeing, if you're just seeing a number all the time, take note of what that is. And if you need help figuring out what it is, please reach out to me and I can give you some resources or let you know what the angel numbers mean. Um, I'll be doing more, uh, more videos, not only on angel numbers, but on, uh, animal spirits and everything that has to do with spirituality and the spiritual awakening. So just pay attention to what's coming in your consciousness right now. Pay attention to the things that are lining up for you. Pay attention to the things that are flowing with ease. Pay attention to the things that are not flowing with ease that you feel like you're pushing with. Let those go. Check in with yourself. Ask your heart, like, what do you truly want? What is true for you? What is resonant with you? And sit with that question for a while. And if you're feeling bombarded, if you're feeling overwhelmed, take 10, 20, an hour, whatever you need. I would say at the very minimum, take 10 minutes and sit outside and literally just be. Be with the trees, with the grass, with the um, flowers and the bees and the birds and just really tap into nature. Allow yourself to ground and just like let your nervous system calm down. If you can do an hour, do an hour, go for a walk without music and just take in your surroundings, take in nature, take in the people around you. Um, just sit and just be without a book, without music, without taking a phone call, without opening your phone, actually leave your phone at home um, and go take a walk. And if you can be out for an hour, this will really change your life if you can do this on a daily, daily basis. And what you want is to one, ground your energy and to two, um, reset your energetic field, right? So as you do this, your whole nervous system calms down, your adrenals calm down, you're moving your energy, you're getting blood flowing through the body, um, you're sending oxygen to the blood and to your muscles by moving, even if it's a slow walk, and you connecting with nature, you are literally tapping in to source, to spirit, to the connection of all that is. And so the more that you can do this, um, if you can do this on a daily basis for a month, I would love to see how your life changes. But point of this, there's a lot here, but the point of this message was first and foremost, pay attention, 
to what is coming through for you and your no follow your instincts right now your intuition is turned on high and don't ask for outside um sources for opinions um really tap into you and your heart and what feels resonant to you and if something feels like an internal knowing own that say it be like oh i know this is going to happen and just take it and hold on to that and then, you know, if there's something that you're like, I'm not sure about this, it like feels good, but I don't know, just kind of push it off to the side and let it resurface when it's ready. So follow your instincts, listen to your intuition right now, take note of what's coming in your consciousness, take note of the angel numbers that you're receiving, the messages you're receiving, the animal spirits you're receiving, and get outside for a bit and ground your energy and reset. I love you guys. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day and we will talk to you soon. Bye.